What you playing with, Robbie? Well, I had a buddy of mine that was on a dive team. That he got out of the dive team, and he had this save a dive kit. And inside the save a dive kit was the second stage. It has a feature I'm not certain about. Okay. Uh, can you can you give me a clue? Oh Come yeah. Flat. So that is the spit guard on the Sherwood Oasis. A what? A spit guard. A spit guard. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marine. I got a really neat piece of equipment here I want to talk about in today's video, but to kind of talk about how this came to be. This is an older Sherwood Oasis low profile second stage from the 90s era, so late 80s, early 90s. I've actually had several of these over the years. Now this one actually don't belong to me. This belongs to a good friend of mine who just purchased a lot of gear. He's one of our public safety divers and he purchased it from a public safety team who was kind of going under and they sold out a bunch of their gear. Well, as we were going through the save a dive kit, we come across this second stage and he asked specifically about what was on the inside. What was that little piece of metal on the inside? And th I thought, hey, what a good video to make to talk about how divers dealt with cotton mouth back in the day since we all breathe dried compressed air. All right, guys, so the little tagger on the sticker here on the front wore out, but this was a low profile second stage from the Sherwood line. They had several brute models that had this profile. They had the, I believe the Magnum had it as well, and then even the Oase had it. I had several of these Oases and absolutely loved them. But what made these so special, what everybody liked about them was on the inside. If we look inside here, You'll see that little piece of brass or that piece of metal up in there, that little flat piece. Now this actually served dual purpose. One, it was kind of like a Venturi device, which means as the air came in through the hose, it would actually turn. It would actually hit that, come through the mouthpiece and made it a really good breathing efficient regulator. And a lot of companies like Mario's, like the brand we sell, they have the little VAD tube, which is the Vortex Assisted Delivery. It virtually does the same thing. But one thing that made this special is when you exhaled, your expired gas, the moisture from the expired gas would actually stick to that there. So the next time you took a breath, what would actually happen is, is it would be just a little bit wetter than just a normal dry breath. And that prevented that cotton mouth anytime that you were underwater and you were diving. So there you go, guys. That is the Sherwood Oasis second stage. They're actually still making this model today. It's just been upgraded. Um, I actually preferred the lower profile series like this, and it came with the Brute, the Oasis. Also, you could get it in the Blizzard, which was Sherwood's ice diving series. And then they also had the older Magnum style too. And I'm not sure if they ever made the Magnum in the low profile, but they were absolutely phenomenal breathing regs. And it wasn't because they were a high performance reg. It was simply because it was a comfortable reg to breathe because of that internal spit guard or what we used to call the spit guard. So yeah, it's pretty cool blast from my past here to see this in there because I've actually had several of these over the years and really, really enjoyed diving them back then. But let me know down in the comment section below, have you ever dove the Sherwood Oasis, specifically the 90s style? And uh, do you still dive it today? Because these regs are actually still serviceable as well. But guys, that's going to be it for today. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it. I'm going to go ahead and sign off today. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.